Hey guys, welcome back to another weekly dev vlog. It's been a busy week for us. We finished off the month with a bunch of bug fixes, quality of life adjustments, and a few fun things as well. We've taken the time to redo unit ragdoll physics in order to make them feel a lot more realistic. We've also completely fixed falling through the world. Thankfully, you won't be losing your units in this frustrating way anymore. Now in order to take advantage of the new ragdolls, I've added in a super fun new mechanic to our weaponry. Units who get knocked over or killed will have their ragdolls be physically affected by the force of the impact. The weight of the character and the force of the attack will determine how far the body flies. So if you equip a heavy hammer, you can send people flying through the air in a fantastic fashion. We've also added in better indicators for when your hero hits or is hit by an enemy. There will be hit markers for deflection, partial hits, and full hits on unit health bars. We apply the same logic to the hero. When you do get hit, your screen will display the appropriate feedback. I have been working on creating our first defensive tower, the Ballista Tower. This tower will cover a large area with its arc of fire, but will be vulnerable once enemy units get under it. However, this tower will certainly make enemies think twice before approaching it. We've heard your feedback on wave defense, and the general consensus is that the mode is too hard, especially for beginners. We've nerfed the brute enemy and given additional preparation time in order to help out. We've also added in a few new guards in the city who will help delay the bandit hordes. We'll be continuing updates to wave defense in both content and the difficulty department, so stay tuned for more updates. We've also spent a lot of time doing quality of life changes, things like improving the loadout menu, changing the starting perspective, and more. But it is a new month, and we have some pretty ambitious goals for August. This month, the focus is going to be on revamping combat. We have so much we want to do, from changing the way attacking works to allow for charged attacks to adding in some abilities for units and heroes. I will be reworking animations in conjunction with the combat update, but primarily focusing on adding a tutorial to the game. When you make a system, it is extremely easy to understand how it works in the game, but it is difficult for players to grasp all the new concepts. A tutorial will hopefully solve these issues. As for next week, I plan on fixing up blocking, as well as giving units the ability to hold the swing of their weapon, letting them charge their attack. I will be making the tutorial and finishing up last minute touches to the ballista. We are hoping to add the ballista in the game this month, but we have a lot planned already at the moment. That's it for this week, guys. If you enjoyed this content, please make sure you hop onto our Steam page or join our growing Discord community. Thank you, and see you next week. Thank you, guys.